my guitar tech overheard one of the stage hands and my guitar tech was like, oh, you're talking about sick puppies? I went, yeah. So what about about him? He said, oh, have you seen the bloody singer? What a dickhead. Wow, oh, thinks he's fucking everything, thinks he's amazing. Up himself, prick. And I was like, perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Did my job. I tell this story a lot because it was a good piece of advice. He said they paid their ticket to be rocked. They want, they've, they've come to be rocked. You're not doing anything out of the ordinary in this scenario. Just go out there and be a fucking rock star. Act like a rock star, sing like a rock, play the rock star. And that switched it on for me because I'm an actor. I was like, oh, I'll just switch on the character. Changed everything because then they weren't there to see me. They weren't judging me. They were judging the character and his performance and what he was doing and the notes he was singing and they were empathizing with his message and everything was about him. So that, that little bit of detachment makes it possible to put forward a show. You've got a microphone with a million watts of a PA talking to 30,000 people. That would intimidate someone. That's a bit of a full on situation. So to be, a, to be, if you walk up there and genuinely feel like, yeah, this is me, I deserve this, you're a dick. Like you're, if you actually think like, yeah, I deserve to be in front of 30,000 people with my little song that I wrote in the garage, like no, it's, if you're not nervous, something's wrong.